in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as discourse analysis. Listeners and audience today, I'm going to teach you the main difference between text and discourse. What is text and what is discourse? If you remember, I already told you and presented one lecture about discourse, that what is discourse? However, first of all, I'm going to tell you about text and then about discourse as well. Listeners and audience, whenever we are talking about text, text refers to any uh, written material that can be read. Now, that written material can be written on the board, either on the page of a book or even that may be electricity bill, textbook, poster, newspaper, advertisement. On the other hand, if we connect this to uh, literature, even all literary materials which we have, for example, novel, dramas, and uh, short stories, all these include in the text. So now, I think you know about that what is mean by text. On the other hand, when we are talking about discourse, discourse is the use of language for communication. And remember that in linguistics, discourse refers to both written form and spoken form. It means discourse can be in written form or in spoken form. And discourse includes monologue, a dialogue, debate, speech, and so many other. And I'm also sure that you know about monologue. It means when one person speaking at a time. So this process is known as monologue. And die mean two. So when two persons, they are talking and communicating with each other. One person is asking and another is answering his question. Or there is a, a debate between two persons. So uh, that is called a dialogue. So monologue, dialogue, one-way communication, two-way communication, also uh, debate or any speech of a person religious speech, uh, speech, political speech, all these include a discourse. However, discourse can be in written form and spoken form. Listeners and ideas, to make it short, any written material that can be read, that is called text. On the other hand, discourse is the use of communication, or the use of language for communication, it can be in written form and spoken form. And as I exemplified, that in text includes like newspaper, uh, magazine, textbook, electricity bill, poster, advertisement, and so on. And when it comes to the examples of uh, discourse, and discourse includes speech, contest, debates, monologue, dialogue, and so many other forms. So hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.